Okay, everybody. We uh, got ourselves a smoker. And I came out and checked the bees this morning before we got the smoker. And um, they looked like they were getting honey bound. And honey bound is not good because if you're honey bound, you get frustrated and then you start swarming and leaving Kimberly's beehive. I don't want them to leave. No? Okay. So anyway, so we've got the, the camera set up and uh, that seems to have definitely calmed them down compared to the last time I was in here. <clears throat> they were boiling up everywhere because I didn't have no smoke to put on them. I don't want to kill them, but I want to calm them down and get them off the tops of the boards and get them in the bottom. So we bought some new frames and we already had a box. So I've been watching the fat, John the fat bee man, I think it is. And, uh, and so we have been, I've been watching his videos and he says to checkerboard one of them when it does this but I gotta be real careful about my queen. And I've also cut the fingertips out of my gloves. We'll just see how it goes. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm gonna take um, this one and check it. <laughs> I trapped him. I'm going to slide that down there and try not to paint your girl and lift this out gently. And all I see is tons and tons of honey that's not been kept yet, but they're just about honey bound. So I'm going to put this in this box over here. And then we'll slide out the next one. And Can I do that for you? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I've gotten this one loose enough to lift it up. No, I it's. Two two. Oh, I see. They, they have it glued on this side. Now it's coming up. And again, I see lots of honey. What do you see on that side? I see one cap cell. One cap cell? Alright, so we'll leave this one in here for the moment and see how many we got. But remember that this one had a cap cell in it. Yeah. And now this one's of, just got honey on it that I see. Those aren't cap seals and white ones on this side. Let me put my tool down and do a trade. That's capped honey. And so this one goes in here, but we're going to checkerboard it. And we're going to put a frame that don't have anything on it yet in there beside it to get their little butts busy. You don't need to. So we're going to take this one and put it in here and that will give the queen something to lay on. So it's checkerboard, it's every other one, according to John the Fat Bee Man, and that's his name on YouTube, the Fat Bee Man. D 
Do it right there, too, where they're boiling up. Oh, you're good at that. see honey and capped honey on this side what do you see well, I don't know what I'm looking at I see some stuff I'm not sure if it may be a, something besides just capped honey mm -hmm. and this one don't have the bottom board and so I'm concerned about that right there and so yeah that whole thing is when they build on the bottom. That, yeah, this right here was already here. I'd leave it. No. Because that's a short frame. That stuff they've added on the bottom. Oh, yeah. But this uh, outcropping that sticks out, you're not supposed to leave that. I forget what they call it. Is that, uh, is that a drone or our queen right there? I think that's a drone. I don't know. Hold on. Looks like she's laying. I think that's the queen. I'm not going to swear to it, baby. Looks like her butt went down. They're getting pissed. Hold on. Well, we're going to leave this one in they, here. They need a chill pill. For the moment. much more pleasant to work with today since I have a smoker. Okay. We got, is that, oh, scared me for a minute. Is that pollen or babies in there where you can see red stuff? I think it may be, I don't know what I'm looking at. I think it may be babies. The queen might be on here and you might rush her off of the... I think that's pollen. Yeah, this one's got pollen and honey. So this one's going down here. And we're gonna move another. On the bottom. We're gonna move another frame here. Uh, right. Take this one out for me, darling. The bees on bottom can get smooth. So you set that down. Maybe they're smart enough to get past it. Okay. Well, we're gonna... Now I can look at this one without moving it. I looked at this one, I believe, when I was looking. There's some capped honey on the top of this one. Yeah, she's usually towards the center. So, sooner or later, she's got to work the ends too. So, yeah. you know, 
at the moment. Yeah. What's so, that right there? That's a bee sti butt sticking up. Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, that ain't no special bee there. No. Uh, so anyway, it looks like a whole bunch of bees depositing honey when I look at this frame. So. And there is a queen cell being built. See that? Yeah. And so. Look at them bees hanging on. Look at them. He's got a board right there. See? Uh huh. And uh, so they're building a queen cell. She's not laid in it yet unless there's already a larva in it. And so I'm going to leave that. No, I'm going to put that one up here. Take that one out. Baby. Baby. Okay. Take that one. Right, I gotta, no, not this one. Careful, you might be transferring the queen to this new one. I wasn't convinced of it either. Too dark. You're out of smoke. Uh, see if the cigarette lighter is in there. And if it is, go get some more paper and and get it lit again. Okay. It'd be in the back back there where I was lighting. There's some more of that funky cone that's making. So, we'll take this one and put it here. Very carefully. And then all we gotta do is divide out our frames, putting the new ones in for the queen to start laying in. And uh, we're gonna put Uh, a frame they're working on and then a new frame and then slide a frame that they're working on over there And then put a new frame in here. And then slide over a frame that they've been working on.
give them a new frame. Oh, I've already got one in there. You ever find your queen? No, I decided it was best not to play with it and, you know, and, and disturb them anymore. And there was a couple of frames I didn't lift out at all that was right there in the center. And so, how many frames have I got down there? Your checkerboard is down here, is there the other one? I know, but how many frames is in three, here? Six, seven, eight, nine, and that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I've only got one extra frame. Where's the other one at? Didn't we have, maybe it only had nine frames in it instead of ten. No. Oh, well. I've only got one frame left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, this being the brew box and then being susceptible to uh, uh, making uh, unneeded, unneeded home, I'm going to attempt to put extra one down here Okay, so now they have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, new ones to draw out and lay eggs on. And they have new ones to put honey in. So maybe that'll keep them happy till we can buy a super. What do you think? Yeah, I think they got a lot more than that. You want to go get the video camera and show them up close? Got. The, you can see old frame, new frame, old frame, new frame. And um, I wanted to pull you out one of these so you can see it up close and personal. See that queen cell? That's what they're forming right there. They're forming a queen cell. And that's because, in my opinion, they were crowded. Um... technical malfunctions on the MacNut farm. <laughs> Here in its natural habitat is the Kimberly <laughs> trying to get her iPhone to work. Bad Apple. Bad I know. Apple. I need a new phone, right baby? Yeah, but not an Apple. But not an Apple? Apples are very particular. You put two programs on them, no go. Sad, okay, so sad. Uh, we'll try to record with yours. <laughs> so anyway, so I put the um, the acid, the the boric acid, all around the bottom, and just right here on this row where the ants are coming in, um, in the corners, so that they'll get it on them as they come in and out. And they're coming in there and getting the debris and stuff that's falling from the bottom of the hive. I don't know that they're bothering my, my bees, but I know it's not good to have ants around the bees. So maybe uh, that will... Oh, come on, bee, get out of there. You know you get trapped and you can't get out. He got in. There he goes. I'm closing that door. You cannot get in. You want bit? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he finds a way. I'm a bee. That's what bees do. <laughs> we find holes, go in them, and make hives. It's my job. So anyway, so we I put the boric acid in the cement blocks on the bottom and around the hive. Uh, 
to uh, try to uh, keep the ants down and this bee is just determined to go in this little hole we're gonna have to block that hole up with something see if he makes it uh, maybe some tape or something hold on let's see if he goes in there he's trying real hard that, we need to know if that's how they've been doing this it's like he knows what he's doing he she it well, you know, I did have it. I have it cracked sometimes. He don't like that boric acid. Maybe it's the boric acid. He's like, hmm. Strange stuff. Because I think they've been crawling in that corner. Now he's got that in the way. Right. Well, maybe I should take the boric no, acid leave out it. of that corner. No, leave it. You don't want them in there. I don't want to get boric acid up in my beehive. Oh, they're smart. Um, I'd rather... Kill, and, kill the. I don't like to kill the ants either. What do I do in the house, baby, whenever we got ants? Feed them. I feed them. She feeds them honey, and then they get stuck in it, and then we just wash them away with the dishes. <laughs> That's not what I did. I laid that honey out <laughs> nice and flat so that they wouldn't get hurt, and they could eat and be happy. <laughs> they make a tasty dessert. <laughs> Honey-covered ant. tasty dessert. <laughs> like extra protein is it no well you know what i bought for you know what you I were bought? laying there when you now you gotta give the cameraman time to adjust to the new uh <laughs> okay there board. we go point it up you got my face Hold on. in there i'm, I'm under attack <laughs> the bees are after you the bees always get after the cameraman don't they they didn't mind the apple they don't like the android i don't know what the deal <laughs> is here well anyway I bought a box of powdered sugar for them and put it right beside the back door. So pretty soon, the bees will be happy and then all the spiders will figure out where the bees are and they'll just make little webs right there and they'll just come down and grab them one every now and then. So all the spiders will be happy and we won't have ants in the sink no more because they're too busy just coming right in the door and getting what they want and going right back out mm. in the cracks of the door. We'll see how that works. <laughs> yeah. And now, this right here is gold. We're going to melt that. You ain't going to leave it for the bees? No, I'm going to melt that, and we'll make bee soap. Oh. Yeah. So, I've got a little nook here. I've been hiding it in and uh, putting all my scrapings in. They've gotten loose a little bit, but we're going to heat that stuff up when we get enough and refine it and everything. So, we've checkerboard the little babies as best as mama knows how, and uh, we've got boric acid out on the, on the ants. Maybe that'll cut down the ant population so they won't be getting up in the ant high, in the beehive. And so... You know how you're a little OCD? I'm OCD? Hold this. I'm OCD too. That hive is crooked on them blocks. And it bugs Oh, it me. is. You know, I think I did that. Just be careful. You don't want, oh, there you go. Is that better, baby? That's better. I remember when that happened, I meant to go fix it. You know what we haven't showed them? We haven't showed them your new hat. Oh, yeah. Ain't this, <laughs> this ain't as good as the other one, is it? No, uh-uh. It was so hillbilly. This one is like, oh, what was that old uh, music group in the 70s? YMCA. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're no. doing the YMCA. Come on, let's see it. Make a why. This is what happens when Kimberly <laughs> sees something fall off the back of the <laughs> I can't help it. It was laying on the side of the road, and I said, a hard hat on the side of the road. Why, I could make baby a bee helmet out of that and get him out of the hillbilly thing that was smelling like rats and deformed and, 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 and. and. <laughs> <laughs> oh me so anyway i don't know this is gonna be a haphazard video because i don't even know what i've got recorded and what i'm not because the camera keeps turning off on mine and but anyway all right thank you for being on our bee adventure and remember to check out don the fat bee man who is totally awesome and i've been watching his videos to help me and I'm hoping to go take some of his classes soon. I've already talked to him about it. 
So here we go. All right, can you hit the stop button? Don't you can't walk off. Okay. I don't know how to make it go boom. <laughs> 